Hello Cancer, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave the rest, and check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. Alright Cancer, let's get right into it. Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer, please, in regards to love? This is the Ojo Sen Tarot deck. I'm using it as an oracle deck today. Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer? For Cancer. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and commented. I really appreciate it. Especially those of you who are so kind in your comments. Thank you. It does not go unnoticed. Let's see what we got for you guys, Cancer. Awareness and change. Wow. A realization is going to bring change for you. Regarding a connection, possibly. Possibly also self-awareness. Wow, isolation. Well, we're all feeling that a little bit. There's also somebody who is in pain with the isolation. Feeling very alone. Okay, one more. Courage. Beautiful. Someone say, have, okay, someone here is having some sort of awareness while they're in isolation or almost like um, they've been really taking the time to dig deep. They possibly are going through a painful situation that's causing them to be aware of certain things about themselves or their connection. And I feel like they're getting the courage here to make changes in their life. So let's see. Cancer. What is this all about? Using the Druid Craft Tarot deck today is as big as my face. But I love it so much. So please bear with me as I try to shuffle it. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancer? For cancer, please. In regards to love. In regards to love. What messages do you have, Spirit? So just for cancer, please. In regards to love. Wow, six of wands. Great start. Let's see. Recognition, success. Seven of cups. Someone's thinking a lot about something here, about their options. Daydreaming, possibly. For Cancer. May 2020. Princess of Swords reversed. Is this Page of Swords reversed? This could be um, miscommunication or just a message that is not received well. Could also be an intercepted message. Something that's unable to get to you for some reason. What else for Cancer? We're going to clarify all of these. Four of Pentacles. So someone's holding on to something here. Wow, the Magician reversed. Someone here is unable to manifest something. Let's get one more. What else? Spirit for Cancer. In regards to love. Two of Swords. Someone has a decision to make here, a path to choose. Someone here wants, I feel like someone here is, uh, it could be you, Cancer, is in the limelight or there's a tension on you for some reason. You're being looked at or recognized for some reason. Others of you, you want success. You want recognition. And I feel like all you're doing right now is thinking and daydreaming about options or ways to bring about this success. And it's not working out. There's something here that's off with this page of swords reversed. This can mean someone who twists the truth, bad at communicating, sometimes it's outright liar with the page of swords. It could also be, again, a message that's unable to come through, a delay in a message as well. Someone here is holding on to something they value. Um, however, they're not able to manifest. So I feel like they're now thinking about a different path. What's the bottom of the deck? Ace of Swords reversed. Yikes. Wow. This is straight up ignoring truth, ignoring clarity, not having clarity about a situation, unable to have a beginning based on truth and honesty. This is horrible communication, sometimes painful communication. What is going on, Cancer? Let's get into this. 
Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer? The Magician Reverse, this is also someone that doesn't feel like they have the resources to manifest something as well. So let's see. Let's start with the Six of Wands. Spirit, tell me about this Six of Wands for Cancer. Thank you. Whoa. Uh, wow, that's way too many. I'm going to take these here. I'm going to put these back. Wow, that was a lot of cards. So we got lovers and three of cups reverse. So this could be a third party situation or <sighs> the party's over here. Tell me more about the six of wands. We've, and I've gotten some comments too from people telling me that I should pick up all the cards that I drop. Um, I know which cards I'm supposed to pick up. I listen to what I'm being told by my guides and by my intuition. So. Trust me, I'm not going to just ignore cards just because I want to. Like right now, they're telling me to keep shuffling. So I'm going to keep shuffling. There we go. Hierophant reversed. Sign of Taurus, Gemini here. Party's over here for someone. Celebration's over. This is a third party situation possibly because I have a broken commitment or someone who is... It's almost like someone was in a relationship because it looked good, because it was the right thing to do, because people were having all eyes on them. And it's like they're rebelling against that and going after someone else, it looks like here. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Wands. Could be dealing with a Gemini or a Taurus. Party is over for this union. Someone's making a decision here also. Someone's making a decision about love, and it has to do with a group of people, like, there's several people here that are involved, some sort of interference, um, and it, they have to choose one, is what I'm feeling. With the higher font reverse, this is someone who is rebelling against social norms, so it's almost like whoever they choose to be with, um, all eyes are on them. There's going to be possibly gossip, but they don't care. They just want to be successful. They want to have a good relationship, so they don't care if that means that people are going to talk. Tell me about the Seven of Cups for Cancer. That could also be the end of a third party situation. Someone finally choosing. Hold on. Strength. Son of Leo came out here. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups spirit. The Magician reversed again. So it's almost like someone has a lot of options, but um, they're unable to manifest something. Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. I'm getting a few things here, so bear with me. I'm, I'm, some of you, there's either you or the person you're dealing with because the roles can be reversed. So for this situation, I could be talking about you or someone you're involved with, okay? This could also be, if you're single, someone coming your way. They might be going through this situation right now. That's how energy works, but that's why I keep saying someone or someone here, because it could be either or. Anyways, so with the Seven of Cups here, there's this is someone who's daydreaming, I feel, about manifesting or creating a stable relationship with someone. Um, I feel like this is someone who has the courage, has control over their emotions, is willing to let things flow naturally, but it's not it's not happening for them. There's a blockage here. I have Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There's a burden here. What's behind that? Eight of Cups. Interesting. Burden. Someone wants to walk away from this burden. Someone's done. What you hear in the background is my dog having a treat. So, yeah, and I feel like there's someone here who's unable to manifest a stable connection or, or they have options, but this is the one they want. So it doesn't matter who else shows up. The one that they want, they're unable to make things happen with is what I'm seeing here. There's a burden that's blocking this. So let's keep going here. Tell me about this page of swords reverse. For cancer. If this could be someone here in this third party as well, this Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about this page of Swords Reverse. Three of Pentacles Reverse. Definitely a third party. 
Now, a third party doesn't have to be another person. It just could be an, someone that's interfering. Could be a work that's interfering. Well, it's way too many. Um, or uh, like a friend that could be interfering. Well, there's the King of Pentacles. So we have a divine sort of partnership here with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Um, this King of Pentacles is been thinking way too much about this um this is also something here that couldn't work there was possibly misinformation bad communication unable to get anything off the ground here um i feel like someone emotionally checked out of this relationship here this lack of growth um someone is is like in this king of pentacles energy and, and 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 I feel like they're too good for this. This could be you, Cancer, or someone that you're dealing with. This King of Pentacles is almost like, you know, if this is a third party situation, they're waking up because they've already healed from whatever BS this Page of Swords was. For some of you, this is someone who is too good for this this situation over here, and that's why they're ending it. What's at the bottom of the deck? Huh. Seven of Swords in reverse. Someone was found out here. This King of Pentacles <clears throat> found something out. And they like shut shut down emotionally. Withdrew from someone. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. Someone's holding on to something here. What is this for Cancer? Four of Pentacles, please. Cancer Spirit. Oh my gosh. Four of Pentacles reverse. So this is someone that's really holding on to something. Like refusing to let go of something. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Six of Swords reversed. Ten of Cups reversed. Ten of Swords. Look at this. Someone's definitely ending a relationship of some sort. Something that made them happy at some point. Or something that just wasn't what they thought it was going to be. This is definitely an ending. Two tens. However, with the Six of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, this is someone that's delayed. They're unable to move on here. And it's because they're, they're being stubborn about something. This could be someone that wants to go back to a family unit as well. They're just not financially stable. But I felt like that ended at some point. So it's like this person possibly doesn't want to let go. Even though it's over. That's for some of you. Six of Swords Reverse. This could be someone that cannot move on. Or, or is coming back. Interesting. I'm just thinking and thinking about these Four of Pentacles. This person could be delayed or blocked due to finances if this is a divorce this person is blocked or delayed because they're not they're waiting for their finances they're waiting for their assets or something with money or value something they value they're refusing to let go of and it's keeping them stuck here tell me about this magician reversed okay Ten of Pentacles reverse and Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so again, I, I'm getting the sense of someone who is emotionally, not emotionally, financially um, insecure right now. Finances aren't that great. But there's a new offer coming in that is almost like they've been trying to manifest a new beginning for themselves. And, you know, there's that delay. Tell me more about the Magician reverse. And it could be because of everything that's going on. But I do get the sense this was a very, if this person is not in a long-term commitment, there's children involved. Four of Wands reverse, Jesus. Definitely the end of a commitment. Six of Pentacles upright. So it's like this person's rebalancing their life and it's probably going to start with this offer. And then here they are making a decision. Possibly this King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Taurus, a Leo, a uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. What else do I have here? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. Okay. Tell 
Tell me about this Two of Swords for Cancer. Three of Swords. Wow, definitely there's a third party here of some sort. I've gotten so many cards. That's the third three that I have here. And there's a Knight of Cups. Someone here is trying to make a decision about making an offer or expressing an apology or expressing love to someone here. Tell me more about this two of swords, please. I feel like they're at a crossroads here. What to do? Tell me more for Cancer Spirit. Wow, Seven of Cups reversed. They're not going to be confused for long. They're not going to be confused for long is what I see here. I feel like they're going to make a decision and they're going to make that offer. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, look at this. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Six of Cups. My goodness. And the Ace of Swords, Page of Swords. Someone here is watching someone else. They have their eye on someone. They've cut out everything that they needed to cut out. They possibly need to have a conversation to clear the air. Six of Cups, this could be the children that I'm um, thinking about here for some of you or someone from the past. It doesn't have to be a past lover, just someone from your past. I'm getting to this person's thinking a lot about memories, good memories that they've had here about a Queen of Cups. But this King of Cups is feeling a little bit unstable right now because he's reversed. It's almost like they, they, they don't have the confidence. Their emotions are all over the place is what I just heard regarding this decision. They're probably like this right now with the Seven of Cups here twice. They're probably like, what do I do? Um, imagining things like daydreaming, um, almost overthinking, right? But with it being reversed here with the Two of Swords, I think they're going to make a decision very soon. But I definitely see a broken commitment here. <sighs> a third party situation of some sort is coming to an end. Someone has emotionally withdrawn from a situation that they weren't able to be successful in. Um, but they're stuck here. There's a delay here. I'm going to pull some Romance Angels about this Knight of Cups here. What's next for Cancer and Love? What's next for Cancer? In love. What's next for cancer? In love. Deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Interesting. This person could have been lying to themselves about how they felt about you or are just not being, my God, are just not being honest with you about how they truly feel. Um, let's get one more for cancer. What's next in regards to love? Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Definitely. I feel like there's going to be a clearing of the... Someone wants to clear the air. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Cancer. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope it resonated with some of you. If it did, please let me know. I love hearing from you. Um, if you didn't, check out your other placements. And um, a huge thank you again, everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed and commented. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys in another video. Take care.